Hey guys, so this one of the questions we had this week with the 25 push-up challenge is what do you do if you can't do a push-up? So we had a couple questions. Some people aren't strong enough to do a push-up off the ground, that's okay. Some people have some bad shoulders, that's okay. So what we want to do, what we're really trying to achieve with a push-up is just to start to work the upper body, the chest, shoulders, and triceps. Those are the push muscles. So one of the things you can do is do it up against the wall. I've got this bar here on the rack, but let's pretend this is a wall. So you can just walk up to the wall, put your palms out there, step back a little bit, and just Go to the wall and push up. It's kind of like you're doing a virtual push-up against the wall. If you want a little more resistance, back up a little bit more and push. Hands about shoulder width apart. One at a time, come as close as you can to the wall and push back. You don't have to do 25 in a row. You can do five sets of, sets of five, sets of six, whatever it ends up being, right? Let's say that starts getting a little bit easier. Maybe what you can do is we'll pretend this is a table or the counter at home. So. Also, make sure whatever you're pushing on is solid, so it doesn't go flying. This is about the height of your kitchen counter, maybe a little higher, so you can do the same thing. Go up to the kitchen counter, hands about shoulder width apart, a little wider, lean back a little bit, go to the lip of the counter, push back. It's the same muscles that we're using in a push-up, but because we're more upright, we're not carrying as much of our body weight. This is a little more of an angle compared to over there, so you're gonna take a little more, it's gonna feel a little harder, a little more resistance. That starts getting easier, you go to something lower, like maybe the kitchen table at home. All right, this is in the way, but this is the kitchen table height roughly, maybe a little lower. Same thing, lean back a bit, go down, push back up. Make sure the kitchen table doesn't go flying across the room, go down, go back up. Same muscle groups. And over time, you're gonna work your way down till you're on the ground doing a push-up. One of you had a question about you got really bad shoulders, right? So another way you can do it, let's go back to the counter version, is not to do a full extension. So what you kind of do is what we call a partial. So from here, you go down, feel it in the chest and triceps, and push back until you start to feel the shoulders. If that's where you start to feel the shoulders and they're sore, then go back down. Just work that partial. Again, core is involved, but it's chest, shoulders, triceps. Again, you can do push-ups off the ground, off the knees and stuff. Let's say you can't do a push-up. Let's say it's too aggressive, right? Well, what you can do is if you have a bench, right? You do the bench press. You can do it with a bar, but with dumbbells, again, we're working the chest, shoulders, and triceps, so these are all the push muscles. We're just trying to get the upper body a little bit stronger because we don't use it naturally in a lot of our day-to-day -day activities like our legs and our back. So for a bench press, take the bar, again, shoulder width apart, bring it down, press it up, bring it down, press it up, bring it down, press it up, right? You can also do it with dumbbells. Hand weights, kettlebells, again, something that you can push with. Flat surface, doesn't even have to be on a bench, you can do this laying on the floor, it's called a floor press. But again, press and down. Same thing, if your shoulders are bad, just do partials. Find that sweet spot where your shoulders aren't involved. For me, the shoulders when they're sore, it's at the lockout. So sometimes I'll just do partials at the bottom. Right? I'm working the chest, shoulders, and a little bit of tri uh, chest triceps and a little bit of shoulders here. When I lock all the way out, I feel a little bit more through the shoulders. Find the groove that works for you and do it. So if you're going to do something like a modified push-up against the wall, like we were doing over there, and you find 25 is too easy, do more than 25. Do more reps. Build more endurance. Build more power. So here, if you're standing here, that's going to be pretty easy, right? I lower this a little bit. Every time I lower the surface I'm working on, or find a lower surface, it's going to require more strength because I'm supporting more of my body weight. Here's more of, again, what we're doing against the wall here. So a little lower, a little more resistance because I'm holding more of my own body weight supporting it. Right? If you have a rack at home, this is a great way to do it. I can turn around, lower it a little bit more. So you can find that sweet spot that's challenging for you, but doable. So we have all kinds of crap in the way. Roll it in. But again, if this is against the wall, press, press back out. I want more resistance, step further out. You'll find that spot where it's challenging, but doable. But remember, you're using the chest muscles, shoulder muscles, 
and tricep muscles. Make sure you feel those. Okay? Try those out, guys. Any questions? Just let us know.